So a bit ago, I made a video about the dateability of the Ultra Tail husks and robots, and it seemed like y'all really liked both of those videos and trusted my wisdom on the most important type of pea rank in Ultra Kill. So today, I will be continuing this journey to collect the peas with how dateable are the Ultra Kill demons. So, with no more delay, let's get right into this. So today is going to be pretty short because there aren't too many demons in the game, but they deserve love all the same. To start, we have the Stone Face Killer itself, the Malicious Face. This rock solid demon may seem cold and distant, and that would be correct, as this rough exterior hides a rougher, more solid stone interior. But to the pros and cons. Pros. A friend of mine said that the head might give some solid, um, which made sense seeing as it's literally a floating head. They also are able to float around, which could be romantic on dates if you just sit on top of them as they fly around with you just sitting there. I, I feel like that's a solid date idea. Cons, they are quite literally the flat emotion emoji. You come home from a long day of work to rant about how awful it was, and this brother's just going to look at you with the same face he gave you when he proposed to you. And I don't know how much we could all handle that. So overall, great in bed, but probably awful in a relationship. I'm going to go with a 4 out of 10. To continue, we got the Cerberus. These guardians of the entrance of hell, the great thinkers who got a lot going on in their heads, that have no details to let us know the nature of such thoughts. So you want to date one of the guards of hell. Alright. Uh, pros, they, they got that orb with them. I'm sure you could do something with that. But in that regard, so I don't know. But they're also pretty tall, and I also know some people are into that. Uh, cons, they are a literal statue. So you best be the top in the relationship, else it won't last long. You're going to be crushed. Speaking of the relationship, I don't know what it is, but something about this John's build screams that he's one of those nice guys. So just be careful, especially if he expresses how much he loves his mother. I'd rate a 4 out of 10 for this one as well. Beyond the servers, we can delve deeper into hell for more demons, specifically coming across the hideous mass. These scorpion demons are described as what happens when hell pours too much energy into a singular cell. If that doesn't sound like something you don't want to date, I don't know how to help you. Pros, these beasties have two faces, both of which are on the ends of their hands, so that's a massive pro. Obviously because it lets you have more faces to guess. They also have a central armor plate, which also looks like a face, so if you want something to kiss or stare at, that works, you know. W, all, all round. Cons, they have a harpoon, so if you try to run away, your ass is getting hunted like a fish running from the fisherman. So overall, honestly, not horrible. Maybe a 6 out of 10. Next up in this absolute mess of a video, we have the idol. A statue hand-carved by the ferryman. This rock and stone holds demonic origins despite its holy blessings. So the pros of dating, um, this one is very dateable. Yes, very much something I'd like to take leisurely walks by the beach with. I think the pro is that it at least looks humanoid. Maybe that's a cool perk. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. It looks kind of humanoid. Oh, and it has a baby, which is great if you play sports like basketball, baseball, or American football, because, you know, field goal. Uh, cons, it's, it's a rock. It cannot speak. It cannot move. And I'm pretty sure inside it's just screaming at you to kill it since it can't do anything in life except rotate. So, 2 out of 10 is my rating. Alrighty, we finished this less than amazing list with something truly beautiful. Yes, beneath the seas of hell lays one giant-ass serpent, the Leviathan. The Leviathan was once the biblical herald of the apocalypse before Gabriel reminded of who's the top in that relationship. So what are the pros of this several kilometer long rock worm? The pros are that there's quite a lot of your lover to love, and your lover can take you on romantic trips to the ocean. And the Leviathan's billion of internal souls is bound to have at least one that you'd be willing to date. Cons. It's, it's over a kilometer large. I am extremely doubtful of your abilities to handle that in bed. Or handle that at all. So, yeah. I rated a solid 6 out of 10 on the rating scale. Pretty cool date, but you can't bring it home to mom. So, uh, that's all the demons. As I said, this was a quick little video to show off the dateability of demons in Ultra Kill. Uh, hopefully this will help you in your plans of proving your spot in the lust layer of hell. But for now, uh, this is all I've got, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.